joueur de endpoint pour venir défendre. Stacké, stacké, stacké C'est incroyable Le stack est trop fort. Eh. Equipo, nuevo vídeo en YouTube. Hoy tenemos un nuevo vídeo del resumen de la RBCS que jugamos el fin de pasado. Antes de nada, quiero dar el resultado del sorteo que ya había de Aston Martin. Dije una semana, pero tardaba mucho porque está jugando a RBCS. A... De aquí viene este vídeo. Ese resumen de la serie que hicimos contra Vitality. Quedamos tercero y ganamos. Pues ahí están un poco los highlights. Tengo grabadas las comps, pero tengo que preguntar a una a mi organización si puedo subirlo aquí o lo quieren subir en el canal de mi organización. Porque claro, juego para ellos. Así que cuando me dé la respuesta, os voy a dejar el enlace de su vídeo, si es que lo suben ellos, o vais a ver el vídeo aquí en este canal. Así que antes de nada, pues vamos a dar el resultado del sorteo. Um, si veis el vídeo, el ganador, por favor, contáctame vía Discord o vía cualquier cosa. Tenéis el servidor de Discord abajo. Y yo ahora responderé comentario al ganador. He puesto un sub-20 en caso de que en 24 horas no responda a el primer ganador, pues va a ser el otro. Vamos a darle a elegir ganador. Vale. Ganador Enzo Vera, ¿vale? A Álvaro. Eh, Álvaro, si no me equivoco, es suscriptor mío de Twitch, así que... Es de sub-20 en caso de que Enzo no me conteste en 24 horas. Y le voy a responder ahora mismo el comentario. ¿Habéis visto? Todo legal, todo, todo... Para que no me digan tongo. ¡Quien ponga tongo! Le baneo. Bueno, no puedo en YouTube, pero bueno, da igual. Ah, disfrutad del vídeo. Os quiero, chavales. Let's see if K-Dub can carry his own team as much as he carried us, all right? Guys, mm -hmm. I'll let you guys take it away. Uh, please have fun and we'll check back in after the game. Thank you so <laughs> much, Orb. And there are so many question marks over these two teams, Stumpy. I mean, like, if you picked two teams that could do better on their report <laughs> card, I feel like Vitality and K-Corp would be the two. But I love series where there are those big question marks. Because we don't, we've not seen K-Corp for a little while now. Like it's yeah. been, it's been a good chunk of time since we've seen what they can really do. Seen them even playing. Asphalt is playing in such a confusing-looking car, and I really respect that. I like that he truly fits to no standard that anybody wants in design. Look at that beast! My word in the breakout. That's the um, sort of car that I would use on my streams like a few years ago, and everybody would abuse me for it. <laughs> yeah, but now because Asphalt's doing it, it's brave and nice. <laughs> You're gonna see people in ranked using that vehicle. <laughs> Now, it's just become meta. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I think that when there are question marks in a series, it is exciting to get them answers into this. Hopefully, we will have an answer of, okay, cool, K-Corp look sick. Vitality look good, because we don't want them to be sick again. Um, <laughs> first minute, though, not too much has happened, and I think that we always say that these teams um, poke about with each other, you know, trying to figure out what is going on in that series. But I think when you look at what K-Corp have got to go off with Vitality, they essentially need to ignore what happened at the Major. Yeah, they can't expect that Vitality are going to, you know, roll over and die in front of them. K-Corp are going to have to earn this victory. Because Vitality, you know, they've swallowed up a little bit of K-Corp pressure. And now when they come forwards, Alpha 54, who played world class at the Stockholm Major, apparently, look at them go again. Alpha's also got a sure set as a profile picture, which oh, yeah. is <laughs> exciting. Okay. Lovely touch in, though, from Alpha. They able to touch it in from a delicious little angle. Um, taken first blood for Vitality. And Cole, you need him to carry you to that victory in a Twitch Rivals, I, I do feel. Now that me and Orb have got one. Um, next one, do you reckon you're going to try and convince him to pick you up? I'll send him a DM. I'll slide into those. I uh, hope he hasn't blocked me. And if he hasn't, yeah. then, you know, well, well, there you go. Make him regret Vitality, that. <laughs> Vitality are looking a lot better. I mean, they are putting a lot of pressure on K-Corp. And the fact that Alpha is getting involved in the goals is precisely what they need. Yeah, it was a nice turnaround from Alpha as well there to realize that Astro's in an awkward position and k Dot's then able to um, get in the way, get the 50, and then just fly seemingly randomly and still meet the ball with absolute perfection right as it's on the goal line to tap it in. Very nice from him. Clearly feeling confident. I mean, they're feeling confident, but Astral's car just keeps distracting me. The ball just went up, and I just saw this flash of green and red. I was like, oh, what's that? Is my game glitching? Oh, no, it's just Astral. He does look like a again. graphics card error. <laughs> look at him go. Vitality uh, really putting Carmine Corp under pressure. Carmine Corp relying on these counterattacks so far. They have had a little bit of pressure themselves, but Vitality's goal line defense has always been so strong for them. You oh. need to do a lot to score against oh. them normally, but Astral is doing oh, exactly that, that when Apache is following it home. The movement from Astral up oh. once, jumps then get on the ceiling, oh. gets the reset, bumps oh. off the backboard, and then just the touch from Fairy Peak into Itachi. The goal happens there, but the magic happened beforehand. That movement just looked like free play. Astral, please keep that up for the next five years. 
It looked like he was attached to the ball by string, just never too mm. far away from it, always in control of what he was doing. And suddenly Carmine Corp reminding us why they are so dangerous, why they won the biggest tournament in the off season, then finished uh, top eight, sorry, top four in the first regional. They were really the team to beat mm. for a little while. Never quite able to build upon that, but can they build upon the goal that they've scored? That's not the best touch from Fairy Peak. Astral shoots. Oh, twice. <laughs> the crossbar <laughs> and eventually Atachi scores. Had a go at that twice, wants to pad those oh, stats. Great intercept though from mm. Stake. Astro does have, does have to wait on that shot because K-Dub's high and in a good position to save it. Should have shot it low to begin with, realistically. Can then get the second shot off the crossbar again and then finally tapped in from Atachi to score his second goal. And k have drawn themselves at level. A lot of Astral magic so far still has that reset. <gasps> Just about finds the crossbar instead of the top corner. Yeah, he's loving the woodwork at the moment, is Astral, but getting so many chances to shoot, which is exactly what Vitality don't want, nor do they want Atachi finishing off his hat trick. Tell you what, we said that Vitality started off with all the pressure. It's now K-Corp's turn. Alpha and k I think it was, both committing into the same zone of influence, where they were both going to be able to do, ultimately, the same thing with the ball. Quick turnaround is not enough. Full advantage taken. Atachi securing the hat trick. Three goals, three shots. That man shooting 100%. Alpha trying to get his own hat trick. Need an astral on the goal line to see it away. And still, Vitality come forward, but Atachi sends it away there. Stake and Alpha going for the same ball. The game just slowing down for 15 seconds or so, which is fair enough. I mean, there has been five goals in the first two minutes. Can't stay at that rate forever. That's what I like from Vitality, though. Those little prods into the center, trying to get Alpha going, trying to get him as involved as they possibly can do, because he started this one the strongest of all three of their players. Yeah, bit of an awkward touch there from Fairy Peak, though. With no Vitality player pushing up to assist his pass, it just means that he gives all possession over Atachi. Failing a doink yet again. Mm. I'm not going to take to Twitter and complain about more doink Do because pros just end up hating me. Even Do though it. AJ was ultimately a very good sport about it. We got in the DMs, we cleared it up. Pros, learn how to doink. That is genuinely 4-2 if Atachi nails that. Yeah, agreed. I don't know why they don't. They never learn. Someone make a training pack for doinks and maybe they'll follow it. Good play from Astral again. I'll just look at the speed. He had no boost there. He had no right to score from that position. But Astral doesn't care. Just taking full advantage of that 12 pad that he picks up and then instantly leaves the ground again. Shoots on the open net and Vitality, despite taking that two goal lead, it seems like they've been chasing, trying to overextend more than they should, but four straight unanswered goals. And the first one for anybody other than Atachi on K Corp just leaves a two goal deficit and vitality if that chasing is going to continue then i do think k corp have got the upper hand yeah they're certainly able to play their way out of vitality squeeze it's where vitality need to do their best work passes into the center setting up alpha that was a nice one but alpha's touch was sent over there look at the speed from atachi takes underneath ah oh, he just wanted to get a touch into the center there mm -hmm. not the most mechanical player on carmine corp by his own admission seems to make sure he's passing that ball to his teammates sure he attempted Fairy people with 30 seconds left. Can Vitality give themselves a chance? It's going to take a lot, but now it's a chance for KDOT to find Alpha. The backboard is there, but Astral with a gentle touch keeps it away from the boost. Oh, KDOT, very big though, towards Alpha. Saved away from Astral. Final 15, a stake with 10 boost. Attempts to get it central. Astral just a little bit late to it, but they do not care if they get another because they've already secured the game. K Corp. Coming back from a two goal deficit to bring four straight in a row. Double flip reset, oh. no goal from. To be able to do it though, on Forbidden Temple, on a cold rainy night. <laughs> There's no rain on my screen anyway. I think you're fabricating that one, Stumpy Goblin. But I think Astro can do it anywhere. The way he started that first game, he is gonna be desperate to get the ball as much as possible. Vitality have to make sure that his effect is numbed somewhat, but he's already getting there. Yeah, but this is good for Vitality. Some freedom for Alpha to push forward. Both his teammates behind him, moving forward information. Ended up getting a clean touch on it, but Stake, is he's having a good series as well. He is breaking up so mm. much of what Vitality are doing. Yeah, there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes, I feel, for K Corp, where you've got Astral, we're looking at him just move around the pitch and being wowed by it, and you're looking at Atachi scoring the goals. Stake is what is keeping them together and meaning that the holes on the backside aren't just completely open for Vitality to plunder. That is a decent chance, though. Shot just going and skimming in front of the net. Alpha to catch with 30 boost. Can he make magic happen? Great 50. I like that. Just stays in front of the ball, knows he can't shoot but he does keep this possession, and that is what has led to this continued attack. You mentioned magic happening, and I feel like Astral's car 
is misdirection. You know, he's flying about. He's trying to get double flip resets. Meanwhile, Stake and Atachi, they sleuth their way forward. And that's why Atachi's the one scoring the goals so far for Carmine Corp. So, oh, so you think it's like the opposite Look at me, of I'm Astral. Yeah, exactly. And then, oh Atachi. my <laughs> deary doodles. What on earth is that angle? It's actually launching so nicely and can then touch his wheel in just so softly with his wheels. K-Dot not knowing what's going on, then suddenly has a ballistic missile through the windscreen. I didn't see it, mate. I was too busy looking at Astral. He was there doing card tricks in the sensor. I had no idea. What, what did the goal look like? I don't uh, know anymore. I'm looking at Astral in the replay. <laughs> um, 1-0 in game two to Carmine Corp. So far, so good for them right now. It's the 40% of us that predicted that they would take this series. So far, Vitality not exactly looking like their best, as we saw before in the Mage of Vita uh, Carmine Corp. Uh, Finding it way too simple to pass their way around them. And these pre-jumps of Vitality, they've tried a few of them, which I respect, but they're not really coming off so far. No, not working, but I think early season is potentially the chance to try out just a couple of those plays. You know, mix it up, see how you're going to then continue to aggress the rest of the season. Or even, like, you know, be more defensive, whatever it ends up being, whatever your game style plan that you're feeling out is. Um, but for Vitality, it just comes down to figuring out how to beat the team in front of you, especially considering the most recent result that we cannot overstate how disappointing that was at the fall major. They just need to firstly make it back and then prove that they are more than a top 14 team in the world. Oh, they've hit one. Kados matched that one. The state was defending it really well again on the backboard. So it doesn't come to too much, but Vitality have improved since going goal behind in this second game, in my opinion. They're getting much more of the ball, more clean mm. touches. But when it comes time to that final pass where they really want to cut through Carmine Corp, it's just not quite reaching them. They're not quite making it. And then he's going to solo a little bit more, trying to overpass, and it's being read mm. fairly simply. I mean, also spotting Carmine Corp, I was going to say, defending very deep as well. They're mm -hmm. not afraid to let have Vitality have possession in their own half. And tell you what, I think that is because of some of those pre-jumps. If you're seeing your opponent pre-jump, that means either you need to match them in the pre-jump, at which point, if your opponent's passing, they can just, you know, not go for that pass. If you've seen Alpha start flying, mm. you then just keep it low, and then you've got the, you've got all the cards in your hand. Or you force the opponents to sit further back, and then you don't let them go for those. You know, you, they can get the shot, sure, but they're just trying to get it quickly. They're not trying to get it as a good shot, necessarily. Speaking of good shots, Atachi just by the crossbar again, the second goal for him. Yeah, Stake just bundling it forward. Alpha's touch not ideal. I think he wanted K-Dot to help him a little bit more. And Fairy Peak was there. The rotation a little bit wide. He left the left the game and then rejoined. So meanwhile, Vitality are thinking, OK, we can talk this through. We can figure this one out. And then about four seconds after they come back, Astral gets the goal. And it's like, oh, we were just sort of talking about how that was going to be the point where we brought ourselves <laughs> back into this one. It's like, <laughs> how, do, how do you quickly recover from there? And Alpha just hits clips. It's like, oh. Fair, sorry, Astral rather. It's like, yeah. oh, okay then. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like every time Vitality venture forward, it's just playing into K-Corp's hands. You know, Carmine Corp are defending very easily against Vitality. And this is a team that can struggle when the pressure is against them in Carmine Corp. But right now, that's not happening. So, like... I, want, I just want to defend that save very quickly from, from K-Dop. It looked really bad from his perspective. But he had such a tiny bump on his back from Astral that then meant that he didn't jump off how he wanted to. He wasn't positioned correctly. And then I don't believe he could have used his jump either. That's why he didn't dodge into it and why he just was in a bad place. But that did not look good from k -Dop. And ultimately, you know, game one, they were looking good. They were up that two uh, goals. They were doing all right. It's because they had pressure. k -Corp have identified that. They know what happened. And now they are trying to go for as much pressure as they possibly can, getting those weird little touches. Look, Itachi, just wait. The Fairy Peak's given it to him. That was five, six seconds that's now been burned in the midfield. Nothing's happened for Vitality. They can slow it down for K-Corp. Astral just to the backboard. Doesn't need to think of scoring. Brilliant, brilliant time management from them. K-Corp, despite that disconnection, Astral came in, scored a double tap, and they get their second game of this series. They keep going for this angled pre-jump pass. And I think there was once where Kadop actually connected and then State defended it really easily on the backboard. Apart from that, I don't think it's ever actually been met by a Vitality player. And I, I'm just wondering why. Why that hasn't been identified as a little bit of a failed tactic. Zero and then, and then and now 3-1 in the game. Fair play to Singularity for keeping. I've just checked the scores as well. 
forcing an overtime in that first game <laughs> and then having it be 2-1 in the second. That is what I'm seeing from Singularity. That's pretty good. Carmen Corp as well, they are currently streaming. Um, that is on uh, K-A-M-E-T-0 on that channel. And Vitality, they are also live on twitch.tv slash Vitality. So go check them out if you fancy it. Um, otherwise, game three, Cole, is it just a sweep for Carmen Corp? I'd love to hype it up as like, no, Vitality can definitely come back. I'm not come believing on. that just yet, but that is why I'm not a pro player. That and the skill problem, because I give up too easily, Stumpy. Vitality don't. Idiot. Cool, Cole. Yeah. Look at that touch from Alpha. I managed to force that own goal with uh, Atachi. And then Astro did come in, try and get that save away, because he knew essentially Atachi, he touches that in no matter what happens, but bundled home for Vitality. Their first goal since the start of game number one. It's going to be a confidence booster. Alpha still trying to go for the ceiling shots. Not able to get it off that time. And so onto the left wall. Stake finds Astral. Maybe team play is starting to be the order of the day over in K Corp HQ. He was saying in the last game as well that keeping the ball grounded could be beneficial for Vitality. That was from the ground, that goal right there. When it's in the air, you saw that Carmine Corp has a little, have a little bit more control over every touch they make as they go for one of those pre-jump passes themselves, show Vitality how it's done. That's just trying to come in, but Fairy Peak got in the way. That's more good play from Vitality. We'll just falls to Atachi there. Kadop is scrambling back. And a good pre-flip there from Fairy Peak, an important one as well. And now they have actually somewhat broken through Carmine Corp. Can they get the pass? Not quite there, but it's looking a little bit better for Vitality. Yeah, outsped in the air yet again. There's nobody to meet Astral. Two players from Carmine Corp go to attack that ball. Fairy Peak, he just gives it back to K Corp, which I don't like seeing. There he could have slowed it down. Had a call from a teammate, you know, like, hey, you have space, you have time. That time call is so important. If he doesn't get that, then he's going to rush it because he thinks there's going to be somebody challenging him. But now it's the chance for Kadop to keep Ooh. being aggressive. A good demo from Astral onto Alpha, the Battle of the A's. In the corner, here is Alpha. Look at Astral, look how speedy he is. Just meeting up there. He is having a flawless series so far. Every time Astral touches the ball, Vitality are in trouble. Look it's just, just, it's assist city oh. and... Stake shooting that puts it so awkwardly between uh, yeah, Alpha and KDOP because KDOP has to come from high to low and Alpha has to go across the net onto that right hand side of the goal left if you're shooting. Shooting it there means that both of them try and go for it but neither of them can quite get it. It's just out of reach. Great place. If you had to study why everybody predicted that Carmine Corp would be a, let's say, top three team in EU mm -hmm. this season, this series shows why. Every player on the pitch for Carmine Corp, all three of them, are doing what's expected of them. Astral is doing the impossible. You know, he's he's keeping the car, con the ball connected to his car as mm -hmm. he goes around the pitch in a way that really nobody else, at least in EU, can do. Okay, um, Stake. He's playing a bit more simply, but he's getting so many great touches. He's pre-flipping to get in his opponent's way. He's doing everything right, you know, to his level of mechanics. And then Itachi is always dangerous. He's looking for those passes. He is getting in the way, he's making sure that it's not easy for Vitality to play out. Oh. And just look how well it works. They're a well-oiled machine right now. Heck, that was nice. Kato with a pretty poor touch and Astra removing him for his sins. Alpha forced into a pre-jump because Itachi fakes the shot after he's been so deadly. And State can just shoot it in the now much more open goal mouth. Two goals for K Corp with just two minutes remaining in this game. It may well be a series over. We just need to see something more from Vitality. Stop tracking possession away. That's the biggest well, thing I've seen. Well, that was better there from K Dop going for a uh, for an air dribble. And That's it good. Has led to this pressure. The finish not quite there. It was K Dop, the man who started it all, that had the chance. Couldn't quite put it away. Vitality have definitely improved in this third game as two of them bundle into the ball to make sure it doesn't end up in their goal. And then <laughs> a breezy flick. I think that was there from Astral off the wall. Why not when you're Astral and you're playing like this? Tachi's going to hit the post. No, it's just going to go in straight from the wall there. There was a Tachi and it's found its way home. Head up couldn't quite meet, uh, meet it. And instead it is 3-1 now to Carmine Corp and it's looking pretty dangerous for Vitality. Really shown enough in the last few games that makes you think that they can come back in the next minute and a half. But one goal can change everything. We've seen it before. Fairy Peak's trying to get it going, bundling that ball forward. Low on boost though. And it's actually with no boost at all. He's petrifying 
the Vitality defense. It fell to Fairy Peak in the end. They do meet one of their pre-jumps. Vitality have shown why they have been going for these since the off. This is the moment that they have been building up to as mm. KDOT beats Astral to the Bulls. Stumpy, rejoice, it works. I had the Astral bug. My internet went all fuzzy for a while. And then I came back and an amazing goal was scored. Maybe that's just what happens in 2022. Bad internet leads into awesome goals. And Vitality, they've found themselves back in it. Only one separating them. With a minute remaining, it comes down to this for Vitality. Oh. Otherwise, they're losing 0 and 3. Then they're not in a good position. I, I, I'm believing it again there. Fairy Peak just tried to set up K-Dop and I was like, it's going to happen again. They're going to get two in a row. But sadly, that one was met by, I think, two Carmine Corp defenders, uh, showing how readable it is. But there's some great demoing from Fairy Peak. K-Dop's one-on-one. -on -one. Fairy Peak can oh! shoot. Oh, it in. Vitality, get themselves back. That just positioning from Fairy Peak. Oh, I thought that touch from K-Dop was so far. Astro oh. really should have challenged that earlier. <laughs> Fairy Peak is parked. That man needs to claim on the insurance for the damage that KDOP did to his car because he was not driving. Brilliant. Well done, Vitality. I didn't believe it was possible with two goals needed. Carmine Corp, are you going to kill this story before it has a chance to flourish? The Vitality reverse sweep. His very peak to the backboard. He can go up as arriving. Oh, but what an interception from Stake. Chance now for KDOP. Sort of tries to find Alpha, then also just shoots it at Attachi, so nothing came from that play. Attached to the ceiling, state to the shot. Alpha clearing away from top corner, it leaves Astral now to work on this play. Ooh. Up high, goes low, Attachi. Brilliant placement on that ball, and just fakes out, I think it was, k up on the back wall, no, Alpha on the back wall. He just has to hold it for a second and then touch it. I don't know why. Alpha jumped and then flipped. Honestly, that looked like a missed flip to me, but Itachi taking full advantage. 17 seconds, KC lead. Such good finishing there from Itachi, and this could finish the series. Is there a fake? There's one or two. Here's Stake, tries to get it over the top. Vitality need this ball on the other side of the pitch immediately. This 50-50 could be it, but look at the intelligence Clever. there from Itachi. One more chance for a pass. The pre-jump has worked to an extent. Stake's already up for it. Wants to send this ball downwards, but Fairy Peak is going to go up against him. Carmine Corp are going to see the